Here I want to show how we can build a very simple current source with a fixed regulated value of current using just a, a single BJT 2N3904 which is a very common cheap uh, general purpose signal transistor very easily to obtain and very low cost uh, one potentiometer very standard it's a uh, just a very simple 10k potentiometer and a single resistor which uh, will be uh, linked to the emitter and then down to ground uh, also we'll be using a decade box uh, to emulate different loads in this circuit uh, what I'll do is I'll read through the notes that I've made to explain uh, a simple current source uh, as we go at the end uh, I'm going to show a, a quick lab using these three components to test the circuit and to see if the theory matches the uh, the the actual laboratory so uh, let's just going through the notes and I'll explain the notes as I go uh, so let's uh, construct uh, one of these that has a constant current of say one milliamp only so that's our criteria we want to build a transistor current source that has a flow of one milliamp at all times uh, and we'll we'll run that from a 10 volt supply so that's our uh, criteria for this uh, circuit uh, now number two uh, it says since we need one milliamp to flow we can arrange for that by just setting VE which is the uh, emitter voltage and RE the emitter resistor so uh, let me just show that's these uh, components this is RE the emitter resistor we have the transistor here and the load and uh, what what we need to what we'll be needing to do here is to set this current which flows down here to one milliamp and we can arrange that by setting the the emitter voltage and if we set the emitter voltage then we know the current that flows down here is simply using Ohm's law V over R equals I so once we've set the emitter voltage and the emitter resistor we'll have set that current through here so we know that the voltage drop uh, at the base is a simple so from the base to the emitter voltage we've just got a simple PN junction drop so that's uh, 0.6 volts so, so since we know that it's an easy choice for a current of 1 milliamp is to just set the the emitter voltage to 1 volt and the emitter resistor to 1000 ohms because if we divide through Ohm's law again if we divide 1 by 1000 then we've got the current that we're after 1 milliamp so all we have to do basically is get this uh, base voltage to 1.6 because it drops 0.6 so 0.6 off 1.6 is the 1 volt that we need here so we need to be able to fix the uh, the, the, the base the voltage at the base of the transistor we need to fix that at 1.6 so so we need so just reiterating here so to make uh, uh, the voltage at the emitter to be at a potential of 1 volt we just need to set the base voltage to 1.6 volts so just to, to repeat that really finally to ensure the the base voltage remains at 1.6 volts we set up a voltage divider like so so this these two resistors here just set up a simple voltage divider and we can work out the base by simply working out the ratio of this for, for this actual voltage is the ratio of that between that so it's 10 volts times 1.6k divided by that plus that gives you what the base voltage is simple uh, voltage divider formula there and that comes out to be 1.63 volts so we know that the base uh, is going to be roughly what we want so we'll accept that so we'll we would go with those values but in fact it's turned it turns out that to make things easy when you actually do the lab I've just used a potentiometer here a 10k potentiometer and I will use I use the uh, the multimeter to to check to to turn the potentiometer and make sure that we've got 1.6 here so uh, 
that's that's basically an easier way. 